one of the interesting things about the experience of time as we live, of course, time is is a very uh, difficult thing to talk about because our experience of it is is uh, uh, on many different levels. Uh, uh, for instance, a piece of music, if it's rather uninteresting, can seem to take a very long time to play and to listen to, and if it's very interesting, it may pass in a very it seem to pass in a very short time. So we have a psychological experience of time, and then of course we have the clock that ticks away uh, rather mechanically, which is which is really not very much like the, much the way we actually experience time as we go along. A time, of course, not only is are we living in the present and experience it as it goes along, but we're constantly reflecting on what it was like before and how it affects the present, and also predicting what it may, what may happen in the future. And our whole pre the whole idea of the present is a mixture of all these different things happening at once. I was very interested in developing this point of view about rhythm. Uh, and so I started writing this little book, which which develops the idea of, of rhythms, uh, uh, and and makes sort of an effort to find out how they go together. And this was certainly one of the important ideas in my thought. Another one, of course, was jazz itself, which which does play rhythmic patterns against irregular ones. <laughs> Never, never, 